We go into a, a small solo. First we have a movement with doubles that sound a bit like the beginning of this, this song, this melody. But the notes are more pronounced and shorter, so you get this. So the double stop is from here. And we have a hammer on. Then we get these chords, these double stops. And through the whole solo, we are actually embellishing the D major 7 chord. So sometimes we're playing major 7 notes, sometimes even the ninth. This note comes back. So those double stops are actually a way to give more space to the regular chords that we're playing. So let me do that one more time. And then we here we go. Then we have a, a slide. Make sure that all those end notes are really sustaining. So then we get the motif that has uh, repeating notes like this. And there's a small note inside of there. That's this one. This is really interesting because if you look at it from, uh, let's say, a B minor pentatonic scale, this would be the flat 9, but you could also say it's part of the D minor pentatonic, while we're still playing in the major key. So I'll show you an example. It's about this note. And this is pure soul. You know, this is how you really sing through the guitar and you, you're exchanging minor for major, major for minor. That's, that's how you get that lyrical quality to a solo. Then we have a, a note that slides again. Then we have the octave. We get a small pull-off. Then we have this note, which is the major 9. So this part is actually also another embellishment of the D major 7 chord. Then we have this chord. Also, these notes are all part of what you could call a D major 7 5. So it's like D major 7 with the 9th added to it. This is a D major 7, and then the 9th is here, and the 6th. So they're all variations on that same theme. And the first part ends with. And then we move on to the second part with these chords. We get a hammer-on pattern. Then we have a blues lick. Again, in this blues lick, you hear the combination of B minor pentatonic and D minor pentatonic. So uh, I'll, I'll pick it up again from the hammer on. Mm. We have hammer. 
hammer on so again with the index finger pressed in we have one more pentatonic note then we go to uh, the last part which features this melody this is just a simple pentatonic melody which ends in a D major 7 then we do the same thing only we start here G major 7 and then again a pentatonic movement to D major 7 on the ninth fret so let me play the whole thing one more time slide back to a D major 7 and end with and that's it <laughs>